Well, now we understood the number system, quadratic equations and also the nature of. Now we need to move over to the nature of roots. Now, whenever we did that the solution, the roots of a quadratic equation are of the form minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Now in this minus b and 2a, there are no two ways about it. They, it is a rational number, very clearly. Now the deciding factor, the factor that is going to decide the nature of roots is going to be this b square minus 4ac. So given a particular quadratic equation, say ax square plus bx plus c, something like say um, x square minus say 6x plus 9 is equal to 0. This definitely is a quadratic equation. So the first thing of course that we do is see that the right hand side is 0 and collect all the other terms to the left hand side. Now, if you see here, if you compare this with the x square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, the coefficient of x square that is a is 1, the coefficient of x that is b is minus 6 and c is 9. So, if we calculate b square minus 4ac in this case is minus 6 square 36 minus 4 into 1 into 9. So it turns out to be 36 minus 36, which is 0. Whenever you do such things, this whole part becomes 0. So there will be, it will be something similar to minus b plus or minus 0 by 2a, which is going to be minus b by 2a. But we know that quadratic equations need to have two roots. But here, there is only one root. So, to cater to the definition of the roots of thing, we say of the equation, we say that the roots are, there is one root which is the same as telling the roots are equal and of course real. So whenever this kind of a situation arises wherein b square minus 4ac is 0, it means that the roots are equal. Conversely, if the roots are equal, b square minus 4ac which is also called discriminant and is represented by the symbol delta, delta has to be equal to 0 and the roots will be equal and real. Right. Now, suppose b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, then the roots are real and unequal. Say, for example, you may have um, x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So here if you calculate delta which is b square minus 4ac it will be b square that is 25 minus 4 into a that is 4 into 1 4 into 6 25 minus 20 b square 4 and 25 minus 24 which is equal to 1. Now whenever, now here 1 b square minus 4ac is greater than 0 and you are getting it as 1. So that means b square minus 4ac is positive and is a perfect square. In such cases, b square minus 4ac exists. The roots will be real, no doubt. Rational, because this is a perfect square, so this part is bound to become rational. This is rational, this is rational. So overall, there will be two roots, but both of them will be rational. Rational numbers means they could be integers or fractions like 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 7 by 9 or any such things. So when b square minus 4ac is positive, which is the same as greater than 0 and it is a perfect square, the roots are unequal and rational. And if it's rational, obviously real. Now suppose within this b square minus 4ac is positive, but it's not a perfect square, right? Say for example, um, x square minus 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. So in this case, b square minus 4ac is minus 4 square that is 16 minus 4 into 1, 4 minus 4 into 1 minus 4 minus 4 into minus 2 plus 8. So 16 plus 8, 24. Now here, it is positive, the discriminant that is b square minus 4ac is positive, but unlike here 1 which is a perfect square, 24 is not a perfect square. And hence in this case, the roots will be again unequal and real, 
but they will not be rational they will be irrational so if you see you will get minus b plus or minus square root of 24 by 2a and that square root 24 is not a perfect square so it's bound to be irrational but the roots will be unequal so this is these are the two cases when b square minus 4ac is positive but suppose you have something like this mm, x square minus 4x, 4x plus 7 is equal to 0. Here, if you look at it, b square minus 4ac would be minus 4 square, that is 16, minus 4 into 1, minus 4 into 7, minus 28. 16 minus 28, which will turn out to be minus 12. So, here b square minus 4ac was 0, b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, that is, it is a 0 number, it is a positive number. But here the discriminant is a negative number. In such a case, if you substitute over here, you will get a number like root of minus 12. If you remember, square root of a negative number does not exist in the set of real numbers. So, in such cases, the roots will be either complex numbers or imaginary numbers, so definitely not real numbers. So, if you just quickly recap everything, the moment you get an equation like this, calculate b square minus 4ac, check what type of it is. If it is equal to 0, then the roots are going to be equal. In simple words, you will get only one answer. And suppose b square minus 4ac is greater than 0, that is b square minus 4ac is positive, then in that case you have to check that positive number that you are getting, is it a perfect square? If it is a perfect square, then the roots are unequal no doubt and real too, but they will be rational. Suppose b square minus 4ac is a positive number, but not a perfect square, say like 24 or 13 or 73 or uh, 29, in such cases, b square minus 4ac is positive, but it's not a perfect square. Again, there will be two roots. Both of them will be real, but the roots won't be rational. They will be irrational. And suppose b square minus 4ac is less than 0. In other words, b square minus 4ac is negative. In that case, the roots are going to be imaginary or complex number depending upon what we get. It. That means they will not be real numbers. So, this, so, whenever you get an equation, we will check best safest thing there is there is calculate the discriminant and then find out what from the nature, from the value of the discriminant, you can almost, you can definitely assess the nature of fluids.